All right, so where do we go? Down here? No, we can't move down there, so let's try the other room. Maybe through here. What is happening? Hello? Please. Is anyone there? Alright, we're at some kind of reception desk area uh, with a product storage at bay 1 and bay 2. And there's an infirmary. Mm, but this door is locked. And that is where we came from. And there's another terminal. The terminal lies dormant. It is readout blank. What was that? Who did that? There's a blood stain. Dried blood trails downward from the countertop. Can you do anything with it? No, there's a chair. The chair sits vacant. The leather split with wear along the seams and rounded edges. Corroded padding protrudes from the tears in the fabric. And there's a holographic projector. The words holotron projector are embossed in metal on this piece of machinery, but the screen is smashed and it looks beyond repair. Anything else? Powered down robotic arm. A useless robotic arm sits clamped to the desk. And there's a product check-in terminal, which we can click. A blinking readout on the screen reads Product storage check-in system. But before we do that, let's check the rest of the room. There's another blood stain, dried blood streaks of floor and a white swath, as if someone had been dragged or slowly crawled away. It's hard to tell whether it came from or went toward the infirmary door. Uh, so we can enter the infirmary. There are some screens, a bank of static filled monitors, lines of the wall. Their displays all, all emitting the same dim, distorted image. So I guess that's our only way to go. Now let's touch this screen. See what it does. He has to walk all around it again. And he has a weird suit, by the way. It fits tightly to his body. I guess it's some kind of uh, nano suit. Alright, so what am I doing here? Product storage. And there's a checklist and there are some notifications. Uh, let's go over the checklist first. Uh, subject Anderson. He was a male, 36 years old. Mining transport orbiting Titan. Part of a long-term terraforming operation, one of 17 stasis pods. So Titan is a moon of the planet Neptune, I think. I think it was Neptune. I read it somewhere in the description. The blue planet. Uh, reserved for... Project Kitchen Knife. Oh, it's clickable? Or not? No. What about Jackson? He was only 19. Escape pod from down transport between Earth and Mars. One of four stasis pods. And the fourth casualty was C. Peters. 46 years old, returning luxury transport. All hands lost, one of twelve. And what does it say about me? John Marichek. Personal transport ship intercepted en route to Titan Station. Espenza, one of three stasis pods. So we have been intercepted en route to Titan. Alright, so something happened to John's ship? Ooh, mysteriously, and how he survived. Let's check the notifications. Uh, there are a lot of notices. In addition to Dr. Essex, we are happy to welcome Sarah Salvatore, the new head nurse of product storage. It was a sad day when Nurse Daniels left us for greener pastures, and she will be missed. And then a second notice. As our cloning facility has been deemed too costly, we are happy to know that product storage has now been upgraded to a level 6 facility. We are now the number one supplier of human specimens to the entire facility. 
After the unfortunate incident in product storage 2, we will be undergoing regular upgrades and maintenance, starting with a new lockdown and security system. Thank you for your hard work and dedication. The last one, two weeks ago a false security lockdown occurred in product storages 2 and 3. Kane Corporation has terminated operations on both floors, until a cleanup crew can evaluate the situation. We regret to report that 17 crew deaths and the expiration of 12 unopened products occurred due to the emergency venting procedures. Well, that's kind of harsh, 17 crew deaths. So I guess Kane Corporation is the uh, corporation behind all this. So there's a lot, yeah, there was some background to Stasis, I guess, and about John Marrakesh, Marrakesh, forgot his name already. Okay, let's go into the uh, infirmary as fast as John goes. Whoa, don't blow up. And uh, I guess uh, to get some meds, to fix them up. This is just a first room, I take it. There's a crib, light passes through the bars, casting stark shadows on the walls behind. A hospital bed, just all smashed in the corner. A stripped down hospital bed sits in the corner. Its side rails bent outward and the head and foot sections broken as if by tremendous force. <coughs> by the alien. Uh, some room dividers. Several hastily discarded infirmary ward screens. Okay, let's go to the, uh, the main room, I take it. And John's in bad shape, you can see it. And that was weird. So another dark, kind of scary room. Um, and I have to say, I like the isometric perspective. It plays like uh, some 90s adventure games, games from the 90s. With comes to mind like games like Sanitarium and um, some others. Maybe even The Longest Journey, was that isometric? I'm not sure. Anyway, there's a mechanical ventilator. The ventilator sits motionless and unable to sustain life. There's a wheelchair, an abandoned wheelchair with crumbling leather armrests. We have here a breaker box where I can touch. This appears to be an electrical distribution panel for the infirmary power grid. It has numerous circuits breakers for powering systems in the infirmary. Okay, I'm not going to touch that just yet. Um, there's another ventilator. It's also motionless. An attached tracheotomy tube is encrusted with a greenish brown substance that dried up long ago. Uh, more hospital beds. The darkness congeals into fearsome shapes in the gap between the bed and the wall. The unwrinkled linen smells faintly of antiseptic. What does it smell like? A number of dark stains cover the sheets. That's gross. Uh, so there's radioactive diagnostics going around here. Um, there are some waste bins. An organic waste bin, the pungent stench of decomposition wafts from the bin marked organic waste. Do you smell that from here? Really, John? And uh, there's also a surgical waste bin. The surgical waste bin appears to be clean and empty. And there's an equipment bin. The peeling label on the side of the empty bin reads Excess surgical equipment only. And there's an empty bin. Well, the bin stands empty. Uh, this is the, of course, this is the DocMate scanner. This equipment provides a medical diagnosis of a specimen through a non invasive scanning procedure. Treatment is administered through a nanite solution drug cocktail that is delivered intravenously. Wow, this game is using some uh, big words, huh? Um, what is this? Some scary operating chair. And that's the terminal. The computer terminals are covered in a sticky veil of cobwebs and dust, indicating they have not been used in a long time. Okay. 
Um, and I can't seem to use them. What does this do? Is that my inventory? I guess it is, but I have no items yet, as you can see. So what else? There's a back room with a robotic surgeon arm. The arm for the automated robotic surgeon is retracted. And there's the terminal. This access terminal is inactive. It's display black. So I guess we need to uh, power it up with the breaker box. This, will this be a puzzle? Yes. Okay, so we got four of these. There are four tubes and four buttons. Let's just press. The icons are all the same. Can I drag them? Can't do anything with that. Alright. So it came to life. There's a life support and a dockmate scanner on this side and power and robotic surgeon on the other side. So do I just power them up? Robotic surgeon active. Okay. Okay, that didn't work. So I have to choose one at a time maybe? Or does it have to be a specific order? Let's try it one more time and then just assume that I can just power only one. Let's start with the... Uh, and then this one. Okay. So let's start with the life support. Or rather the dockmate scanner. Fine by me. Okay. Um, what is this? Oh, now this thing opened up. Uh, I guess we can go in. To scan my body. Like in the movie Elysium. Would be nifty though if you had that kind of machine in your house. We can also cure you. That would be nice. Alright, let's see what happens. Dark main scanner active. Multiple injuries detected. Emergency medical kit created. The night solution, anticoagulant, and morphine combination suggested. Thank you for using DocMate systems. Have a nice day. Why, thank you. Okay, so our guy needs morphine, I guess. Um, does this thing provide it? Emergency medical kit drawer. Really? The emergency medical kit sits on the glowing slab, automatically filled with the required dosage of medication. That's nifty. Okay, let's take it. Let's patch John up. Does it only include morphine or maybe some bandages? Okay, so there are my first items. We have a Dockmate Systems mixture and an empty hypodermic syringe. Do I combine this? And now we have a full hypodermic syringe. And the other uh, uh, item vanished. So can I administer it to myself? Uh, deep breath. Uh, yeah. But, but Dad, Sammy said that if you had bad dreams and you can't wake up that, you'll be stuck in them forever. Well, I'll have a good talk to Sandy's parents. But is it true? Becca? Don't worry, you won't have any dreams for the entire trip. But if you do, just squeeze Teddy, and I promise they'll go away. Now legs up, lay down. There you go. Sweet dreams, my girl. No! Wait, sing it. Sing the song. 
John, looks like we have a song to sing. Go to sleep, my baby girl, in your warm bed. Soon you will rise again, so drift away, sleepy head. Dream of us, and you will see, monsters can't harm you or me. Close your eyes. told her that we're going to have so many drugs in our system that we'll barely remember our own names. Uh, yeah. Somehow squeezing Teddy seemed a little more comforting than you'll be in a drug in...